Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's see if we can get to this... Oh, thank you for the appraisal. Let's see if we can get to this cave here. At least I think it's a cave. Let's go forwards to the bridge and then see if we can go down from there. Is that a bridge? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, it is a bridge. Doggy? Oh, it's just a sleeping dog man. Oh, it's a sleeping dog man. No, I didn't want to wake you up. I tried to go really softly. I'm sorry. I guess you're a light sleeper. That parry didn't work. That one did. <laughs> That's not my flail. Can't parry with a staff. All right, all right, I need this parry now. Oh, I lost blood after I died. I needed that blood to die. How am I supposed to die now? It's really fair for them to murder me. I mean, I did wake them up. They were just trying to sleep. Ow! Message was appraised again. I'm popular all of a sudden. <laughs> Parrying's hard. Yes! How do you like the blood loss? Huh? Offer fingers and then seek rump. Wait. What? If that's an attempt at a sex joke, I don't get it. <laughs> what? Look at this bridge. It sways gently side to side. Oh, more, um, Miranda flowers. Praise the flower. Bridge? I wonder if they ever found the answer to that question. Try Fortnite. Um... No thank you. But I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, you're a little bit stinky, aren't you? Tear ahead. Praise the Earth Tree. Oh, it's an owl. Ah. Oh, I want to explore over there. I want to. Ah! Must focus. I'm here for the cave.
tunnel ahead. Let's try out our lantern. See if that's enough. Precious item ahead. Mourn Tunnel. Ambush ahead. Stone. God, it really is a game changer being able to jump, isn't it? What a lovely thing. Message was appraised again. Launching boluses. That must be for bleeding. Except bleeding is something that builds up and then suddenly hurts you. It's not like poison where it builds up and then applies a status effect. So what would that do? Alleviates impending blood loss. It'll just lower your meter. I think the lantern's good enough for a dark area. Like, it's not great, but it's good enough. It's convenient. Well, these messages are going to make me sad that I did that, aren't they? No Elden Ring ahead. 
so lonely. Aww. They were just, like, sitting in front of their, I don't know, dead friend. Just staring at them. Exalted flesh. Um. Temporarily boosts physical attack. A lump of animal flesh, thank god it's animal, pickle in a medicinal solution mixed with fiery spices. Considered a delicacy in the Badlands, this invigorating repast was for the exclusive benefit of those who they deem heroes. boss ahead. Time for turn back. <laughs> First off, turn back. Seek treasure chest. I already got it. That's so powerful. I can probably upgrade my staff again with all these smithing stones. So there's two ways to go. Item ahead. Soft cotton. Message ahead. <laughs> Temporarily reduces fall damage and sound. Aw, that's cute. A soft but sturdy cotton formed from splitting open roa fruit in a particular manner. Attaching this cotton to the bottom of one's feet allows for a temporary reduction in fall damage and sound. If you must court danger, at the very least, tread lightly. Just sticking it to the bottom of your shoes and then jumping in a ravine or something. It's just a hilarious image. Try parrying. Material ahead. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is the boss, I assume. Well, what do we got? Scaly misbegotten. Oh, they roll! Do 
They bite. And they're about to die. That was so easy. <laughs> Oh, that just felt unfair. That was so easy. Rusty anchor. Oh, hold on. Before I leave this place, there is a li Oh, no. <laughs> There's a secret ledge on the way down the elevator. Let's try that again. Oh, there's a higher one that I missed. Oh, there's nothing up here. Let's go to the flowers now. Oh, I spent my souls on one more point of dexterity, so I went from 18 to 19 dex. Why did I do that off camera? I don't know. Okay, how many can I hit at once with an arc? Zero. <laughs> oh, wait! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, no. Like, I'm not gonna have enough FP to take these all out. I think I gotta do one at a time. But I assume they don't come back? I don't know. Maybe they do. One down. Picking off the stragglers is really fun. That's all my FP. I guess I'll try. I mean, I'm just going to get poisoned. I guess I'll just take the poison. Oh, wow. That's not great. Um, time to wiggle it. Oh, right, that takes FP too. That's why it's not as effective as usual, right? So it doesn't let you use it without FP. It does, but I think it does less damage. Or I don't know. Is it doing less damage? Oh, that's doing way less damage. Uh, but it was still able to cause bleed, interestingly enough. Anyway, I'm going to die. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, so it doesn't do as much damage, but is the blood status buildup still the same? If so, then that's actually still quite useful. I'm going to try that again. It's doing one damage per hit. It's so pathetic, and it didn't bleed that time at all. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Either the flowers just have a very high resistance to bleeding, or the blood status buildup is much lower when you don't have FP. 
Hmm. Okay, the Miranda flowers do respawn. I was gonna kill them all, but given that they respawn, why bother? Oh, so many glowy flowers, though. Ambush ahead, and then didn't expect dung. Is it gold tinged excrement? String. Gold tinged excrement! Okay, I need to get on their level so I can get this arc to actually hit more than just one. Falchion. Let's check out that weapon. Oh, also, we have the um, rusted anchor to check out. That's a very interesting weapon. It's a great axe. And it does piercing. Barbaric roars, the special. It requires a lot of strength. I want to see that thing. And also the falchion. That's eh, kind of a dex weapon, I guess. 9 strength, 13 dex. Very modest requirements. Curved sword to slash. Definitely not my thing. I mean, my thing is flails. <laughs> But yeah, Rusty Anchor. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a weapon. Heckin' angry. That really is a hell of a weapon. Oh, we've already been over there. We've already found that. Found that. Where shall we go next? Hmm. Let's go... Back to the isolated merchant's shack. Actually, no. Let's go back to the church. Church of Ella and see if I can upgrade my staff. Let's get it up to plus two. And, yeah, plus three. You know, actually, before I forget, how about we use our stone sword keys? Oh, it goes right in the head. The, the head. I can't talk. <laughs> so, like, what is this? Literally, what is this? Oh. Well, I guess we're getting poisoned then. Yeah, let's craft some more of these. And let's assign them to our pouch. Wait a minute, I... Oh, hold on. I have all of my flasks on mana right now for the flowers. Three healing, two FP now. What was that? Brief respite, but behold, suffering. Oh my. Rump ahead. Be wary of decoy. 
Could this be a safety? Oh! <laughs> Fuck you! That was not a safety! Poison bone dart. Okay, surely this is safe. Yes. Ooh. Is that sunlight? Yeah, it is. There's a hole in the ceiling. See, if I rested in that cubby across the way, then I would have died. I need others like this that are bigger. So I need to find just the right cubby. Oh. Hi. Maybe all of the holes on this side are the big ones? Yeah, they seem to be. Try jumping off and then keep moving. Oh, is it gonna... Like, it looks like a track that it could then come down... down there, if I move down there. Uh... Is it better to jump off than run around? I don't know. I'm kind of worried I might die if I fall here. I could use the cotton, I suppose. <laughs> Let's try the cotton. <laughs> Didn't even take any damage! Oh no, it's coming. It is coming. It is coming. Wait, is it? Oh yes, it just takes a little while. Oh, it does go over that part. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Would I survive if I fell down now? Probably? I don't know. I'm gonna wait till it's up. Let's wait till it's all the way up so I have the most amount of time to run, and then I'm gonna fall. Yeah, didn't even take any damage. Go, 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 go. This should be safe. Maybe? I don't know. I'm gonna... Mm. Oh, fuck. There's multiple ways. It's following me, isn't it? Uh... Wait, what are you doing? Ah! This- this is safe? This is safe? Is it just if you're not at the turnaround point? The turnaround point is when I got killed by the little spiky thing. <laughs> so like, what's up here then? Oh, lots of- lots of boys! Come on, get the boys! Get the boys! Get the boys! Roll over the boys! Well, one of the boys.
This is terrifying. Try decoy. Whoa. Ah. Dragon Communion Seal. That's a ranged weapon? Did I see that right? It's a ranged weapon? Boost Dragon Communion Incantations. Sacred Seal. Oh, so, right, right. Um. Wait, no, I was going to say seals are like chimes, but now I'm not sure. Are they a chime? Like, are they for faith-based builds? They require faith and arcane. Huh. Formless Drakeblood Seal with a Dragon Communion Crest. The sacrificial devouring of the heart gives power. Indeed, Dragon Communion is too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. This seal scales incantations with one's arcane attribute. Hmm. So it's for someone who could do incantations and has the arcane attribute. I don't know if that applies to all... Like, clerics or what? I'm not sure how that works. I'm a sorcerer. I only know how sorceries work. Dragon Wound Grease. Oh, damn it. Revenge. Did the trap just stop moving? Because I know it came down here before, but now that I'm down here, it's not coming. Do I have to go through that entire thing to get back to this boss? No, there's a stake of Marika. Thank God. Try summoning. Didn't expect tree. Don't give up. Don't give up. All the more. Why is it always Elden Ring? I hear weird burbling noises. Ulcerated tree spirit. Dear God. This thing's terrifying. Well, the entire thing is one big ulcer, so can I make it bleed? I figured that'll either mean it's like basically immune to bleeding, or maybe bleeding would be extremely good. I don't know. That one's going to be a bit tough. <laughs> it has so much health. All right, I'm going to try melee. Let's see if the spinning flail of doom can take you out like it took out the rune bear.
Ugh. It hasn't bled once. I don't know if the spinning flail of doom is it. In fact, I don't know if anything is it. I don't know if I can do this. This thing has so many hit points. I'm gonna try... I mean, it is a tree. So I would think fire would be good against it. Let's try... Fire Grease? Okay, that's a lot better. I mean, it's still bad, but it's better. Okay, that caused bleeding, finally. Oh no, I've been eatered. With the spinny thing of doom plus fire grease, I think this is actually doable. And with that blood, um, causing blood loss, doing a good, I don't know, um, however much damage it did. I think that's actually doable. Yes, bleed, ulcer, bleed. Do what you do best. But hey, don't do that. I think it's waiting for me to do a crit, but I don't know where to do the crit, so I'm just going to do this. Is it waiting for me to do something? I'm just going to keep doing this. It's being very generous. It's being very, very generous. What just happened? Is that what happens when you crit it? Like, I know it waits a second for you to, like, do a thing, but then... It waited more than a second. Banished Knight Oleg. Oh, now I can summon some dual-wielding knight. That looks pretty cool. And I got a golden seed, which means another flask use. That was a really cool fight until the end where I don't know if it bugged out or just... I don't know. Don't know. Why is it always monstrosity? Praise the Scarlet Rot. Didn't expect rot. I did it. Could this be a crouching? Oh, good idea. I always freak out when I get the crit on a boss. I'm like, I don't want to run to the head and try to see if I can do it. I did run to the head and do one attack. Nothing happened. Like, I don't know. I'm scared. I just want to keep attacking normally. What if I run to the face and then it just eats me? And what if the face isn't the right place? Anyway, increase... Uh, no, add charge. Yes! So we have six flask uses. Oh, how much? We have 15,000 runes. We get two levels. Hmm, what do I want? Well, a little endurance would be nice. Again, heavier armor, a little bit more stamina. Actually, do I want that? No. I want dex, I want that. I want that new flail. Twenty-one dex. What do I need for the new flail? 24. Three more levels and I can use it. Just 
popped some souls. By that I mean runes. Let's buy another stone sword key. Well, I think that's a good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to check out these four places of interest on the... Um, I think this place is called the Weeping Peninsula. <laughs>